Yeah, um, I felt today's game had a lot of NCAA tournament vibes in it, minus the 70 mile an hour winds, but in um, the freezing cold. But I, it did have a lot of vibe, you know, like that kind of feel to it. So, um, you know, obviously a great team. You know, very close with their staff. They did, they did a great job. So, um, you know, tip my cap to Denver for a great, great job. Uh, we knew this would come down to a tournament at halftime. This was going to be one that we had a pull to the finish line. Um, you know, it wasn't going to be a, a thing of beauty, but it was kind of the way that the game was playing out. And it, it was hand, it, it kind of ended similar to what I told them it would end. It was an ugly, you know, a, a botched uh, a turnover really that we had and didn't finish the play. So uh, we have to be better. Um, disappointing last two games for us after coming off the, the high of winning in the Dome. Um, these losses aren't about my players. These losses are a direct reflection of, of the head coach. So I have to do a, a, a far better job in, in making sure that our players are, are able to get these games, finish these games, now, whether it be a third quarter run against Hopkins or, or just today and just being able to, to make key plays at pivotal moments. So um, I didn't do a very good job, and, and I, I would put the, the, the weight of the loss um, on me as the head coach. I'm a sore loser. I hate losing. So I don't even enjoy the wins, to be honest with you. I just hate losing. So that's who I am. Uh, that's my DNA. Um, you know, I, this is the first time we've lost at home since we lost to Florida in 2019. And my assistant coach, Sidney Pareka, scored the game winning goal. Like, that's how long ago. So, um, you know, it, it's the amount of turnovers, decision making in key spots. Um, you know, those, those are coachable things. So, like I said, I, I think the, you know, this is, this is on me. We have to coach it a little better. We have to teach it a little bit better. Um, but, yeah, losing is not acceptable in this program, you know. You know, I, it, there's almost like a letdown now having to go play into our conference. So, um, just having, you know, playing a lot of the top teams. And, you know, we should have had the momentum of beating Syracuse that should have pushed us through these last, you know, the last two games. And, uh you know, it's just it's just not the standard best is the standard here. So this is not like, oh, we're happy to get in the CA tournament, look at us, we you know, nah. That ain't it. That's you know, that's not it. That's not what we do stuff here and um, you know, we're we're fishing in a different pond, so um, but you know, we have to, we we didn't we gotta be better. Yeah, I think we're, like we're, it was like playing against yourself. I think for us, the last three games have been very similar to that. Where like Syracuse, you know, you, you know, they they play a zone, and the way it was being officiated it was going to be a low-scoring game, just because they weren't calling shooting spaces and three seconds, and they were a little selective with some of those calls. But which is great, like that's fine if that's the way the game's being officiated. We'd rather it be one way or the other, and I thought the refs did a great job. So this isn't this isn't that. But I I think they play a suffocating defense, and you know, I. I I always feel like these games, lacrosse in general, more games are lost than won. I think people, will, you know, mistakes can will lead to other teams' success more than, you know, perfectly executed situations. So, um, you know, and you got to be better. We 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 call a timeout, man up, run a perfectly executed, um, man up play that gets us even. Um, you know, and we run off sides. Like that's just not. It's just not acceptable. You know, then we, get, we put the ball on the floor in the last 15 seconds. It's in a stick of one of our kids, and they cradle it out of their own stick with no contact. And that goes right to their girl who finishes it off. So, like, you could say unlucky, or you could just say not, you know, not coach good enough. I'll say coach, not coach good enough. Adapting to the defense that was given to us, that was just right in front of us. Um, adapting to the way the game was just being played as we were getting in the groove of things. Um, I think that my teammates really just opened up some of the spaces for us. Ellie's always heads up. She's always looking up. Hart's always heads up. 
Um, we just had some role players who finished well today. And I think it was just the opportunity that was just in front of us to kind of just adhere to what we saw. And I think it was easy for us to get those role players um, just more in the game than we ever have and um, finish our shots, which was great. And uh, it was just a really good team effort. I think we're all communicating really well on offense. Charlotte's a high IQ player. She positions herself perfectly in seams, which is something that we try to coach. And she is a coachable kid and probably is, was by far our best player today. Um, and I thought she just did a really good job of just the gap that they leave open in their zone was one that Charlotte was smart and being able to be able to get into and dodge and it wasn't even necessarily a cut it was more of a catch and being to step into seams where two players kind of hesitate a little bit because it's in between zones and she's able to jet through there she did a really good job um, <coughs> It's hard. I think we're we're gonna take this and we're gonna learn from it. Um, I think that's all you can do after uh, played and just sh uh, performances like this. I think it's important that we just um, like we adjust in games. We have to adjust outside of them now and kind of work towards like Coach said, we're fishing in a different pond, um, and we just have to fix the things that we need to fix and just kind of use it as a motivator, use it as a momentum, you know, shifter for us in the in a better way, um, not in the reverse way, and just be able to use that to motivate us to continue to do better and just keep going, learn from, learning from our mistakes. Um, obviously, you had some times with junior highs where um, probably some help from the smaller schools. Um, what were you seeing that allowed you to help all those out? Um, the movement of their offense is very similar to the ones that we played the past two games. Um, so I think the the way that our defense moves just allowed me to do that. Everybody else is playing amazing, so that's where all my stats come from. And uh, how do you feel like the, the defense came out today? I think we took goals lightly in the beginning of the game. We only had two in the first half, which going against a top 10 team, that's great, but I think certain goals in the third and fourth were, should not have been goals. So the, but we're lucky now, we learned this in the beginning of March, been learning it in the beginning of May. So, that's just a 